What's up everybody? My name is Sabrina. I thrift to resell on eBay and in this video I am going to just take you with me and show you my whole process of what I do when I bring my inventory home from sourcing. This weekend I did go to the yard sales and I plan on getting things listed during the week but I like to just have everything out and ready to go. Um, that way I can list a lot faster once I get to that point. Um, so let's just go ahead and I'm going to show you. All right, I got some hats here. Uh, these are gonna have to be cleaned up, so I'm probably gonna work on that tomorrow. I'll put them in here for now. Uh, this girl gave me a free people bag with my purchase. It's kind of cute. I think I'm gonna actually use this. And I got this uh, Disney puzzle, so this will just go in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna count all the pieces or not. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up the comps. And if the comps are good, then I will count the pieces. But if the comps are just, eh, then I'm just not even going to bother. And then I did grab a bunch of Backyardigans DVDs. I wouldn't buy these separately, but because there was four of them together, I picked them up. I think she charged me a dollar each, which is more than what I like to pay, pay for DVDs, but... It will sell good as a bundle. So I'm going to just go ahead and put it in here with all my other DVDs that I have to list. Um, I kind of worked on some DVDs of, on Thursday. And here I just kind of have the ones that aren't really worth much into different piles because I'm going to make bundles. So that's what I've got going on with that. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, so then I have this vintage Transformer toy paid a dollar for this. This also needs to be clean, so I'll probably work on that tomorrow. And then in this bin, I've got, what's Raggedy Ann's boyfriend's name? Is it Andy? I think it's just Andy. He'll go in here. Um, I did buy these two Minnie Mouse shirts, but I am thinking of keeping them, so I'm not sure. I go to Disneyland a lot now that I have my passes, so I've always need Disney clothes for that. But I'll put that aside. Um, I did buy this UFC DVD because I picked up some other U UFC DVDs and I figured if it's not worth anything, it will go in the bundle. So I'll go ahead and put it in here because I know that the other Uf UFC DVDs are in this case somewhere. And then these are all just tattoo magazines. I don't know. I've never sold tattoo magazines before. I literally have like two tiny tattoos. What a see. I've got the cross right here. And then I've got a little anchor right here. And that's like literally as far as I go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I don't know. I'm going to look it up. But worst case scenario, I figured I could just throw them all in one huge bundle and like, if I could make a quick 40 bucks off of that, that would be sweet. Look at this hot mess, guys. <laughs> I really got to get better at organizing my crap once I put it away in the trunk. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Um, I grabbed these two books because they were free. These scrapbooks are actually birthday gifts for my daughter. So I'm actually, I have a spot where I keep all her birthday gifts they're they'll go over there for now uh so yeah so these are books so i'll put them in here with the magazines all right this bag right here is all dvds so i'm sure you know where they go so <laughs> This lady had all her movies. She was selling them for a dollar a piece, but look at the, like the BBC videos. Those ones I've had really good luck with. BBC. So these were all like, well, not all of the movies in here were good ones like this, but they were all ones that, like types of things that I've um, had luck selling. They're not like common movie this one i don't know oh no this is a bbc too um but she had like 23 movies i 
actually just sold this movie, I think. How funny. This one will probably go in my stack. Actually, I already know this one's not worth anything, so I'll just put it, uh, what stack is it gonna go in for now? I guess it can go here for now. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this one isn't worth anything either. Put that there. Um, so, yeah, these will just all go in here for now. I'll have to look up the comps on all these. See, they're like the, the PBS ones do pretty good too. Oh, I can bundle these two together. The funny thing about it is I actually have this that I just listed on Thursday. Huh, the same thing, except on an HD DVD. See, it's the, the set. I don't know. Nobody wants those movies, I guess. <laughs> She was asking a dollar per DVD and I just offered her $10 for all of them. So it was $10 for a 23. And I think most of them are going to be decent. Like I would say a lot of these are probably going to be like $10 movies, which actually for DVDs is really good. All right. I picked up some video games. I don't think these ones are worth much, but like I was telling my husband, even if I break even, on all of these it's fine because i just noticed my ebay store just in general just does really well when there's video games in it so yeah um i'm gonna stick these right here for now because i want to do these ones all at the same time because they're all playstation 2 so it will just be faster for me to list them. And I did actually get these at different yard sales. They didn't all come from the same one, but they all averaged out to a dollar a piece. I'm hoping that I can sell each one somewhere between seven to $10 a piece maybe, but also hoping for them to be quick flips. All right, let's see. I try not to buy a lot of clothes because I bought a lot of clothes the last couple of weekends. So I found this um, Polaroid shirt, thought it was just kind of cool, but that has to get washed. So it's going in that stack with the rest of the clothes. And then I picked up some Barbies. I'll throw these in this box right here. So all Barbie stuff will go in there. All right, we've got this little guy from the home. I forget his name, but my daughter really likes this movie. So I thought if this isn't worth anything, she may want it. I don't know, we'll see. He can go in there too. Um, these two, I actually bought for my daughter. It's a secretly a mermaid, but it looks like super brand new, like it's never been worn or washed. And then this super cute, knitted sweater for her too so put those actually i'll throw these in the pile to be washed so that goes there oh i have forgotten i bought this um it was just a bin that had a bunch of um, doll clothes in it i paid three dollars for it it wasn't a bin but i guess she wanted to keep her bin so she just threw them threw everything in the bag so i think i'm just gonna leave it all in there i think these are american girl doll size clothing I don't know what brand they are though. Let's see. Oh, this is Build-A-Bear, I think. So yeah, these may be Build-A-Bear. I don't know. Or everything's probably just kind of mixed is what I'm assuming. Oh no, my daughter's going to try to steal these. Okay, so I'll just keep all the stuff in this bag. And I'm just going to stick it in here. Some of the dolls fell out. So I just, I've sold him before. I think he sold for like 20 bucks. But I think the one I sold was in a little bit better condition. So I don't know. My 
my husband found this. We're not quite sure what it is. We think it might be like a light or something. But he might keep it because he's a Nintendo guy and collects all that Nintendo crap. Oh, I was so excited about this, you guys. Oh my god. I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, so basically it's a Disneyland. I still listen to CDs, guys. I do have Apple Music, and I mostly listen to Apple Music, but sometimes I listen to CDs because I am straight up a 90s girl. So, yeah. No shame. All right. So, this stuff... Uh, I guess I'll put this here for now. This one I think he's keeping, so I'm gonna put it in a stack of stuff, that's his. This one I actually bought for me and my daughter. It's one of those Beanie Boos, but it's a, it holds your cell phone up. So we have one of these that's like a bigger size one for a tablet, but we don't have a cell phone one, so that one's for us. And then I'll go ahead and put these dolls right here. What's so much fun about yard selling is you find stuff to resell, but you also find stuff for yourself. Like this right here. It's a napkin holder or a paper towel holder. But what I actually bought it for is I bought it for shipping where I could put my stickers and stuff on it. This is just an example. I'm gonna make them look nicer, but see how it holds your stickers? That does look kind of inappropriate though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know if this is worth anything at all, but it was $2 and I wanna um, try more Christmas stuff. So this will go here for now. If you watch my videos, you know that I love to pick up Winnie the Pooh stuff. And actually, ugh, this kind of sucks though, because my daughter has become a fan of Winnie the Pooh. So she's probably going to try to take all my Winnie the Pooh stuff now. So then I got these dance pads. I have actually sold these ones before. Uh, for decent, this is the GameStop brand, um, but it's, it's, I don't know, I, I think it's brand new. I mean, that looks pretty brand new. They were asking 10 bucks a piece, but then I asked if they do 15, if I, total, if I bought two, and they said yes. All right, and now we have all this. Nintendo Wii stuff. She sold me everything for five bucks. So, I mean, I don't even know if the Wii works. I don't even know if this crap is worth anything either, but I took it for five bucks. So, I just kind of threw everything right here for now. Honestly, I'm thinking that these guitars and stuff are probably just going to get donated, maybe. I know I said that when I moved, since I was going to have more space, that I was going to be cool with buying bigger items because I'll have more space to store them. But honestly, I'm still feeling the same way that I just don't want big bulky things that's going to take up space. So I don't know if these aren't worth that much. I'm just going to donate them. Like, even if I were to make like $10 off of them, it's just not worth it for me to do the work to post them and then to have these big bulky things lying around my garage. So it was worth it. I would have paid just $5 for the Wii by itself. Um, I didn't really want all this other stuff. If it's worth something cool, if it's not, then peace out to it. <laughs> all right, and then this last thing that I bought right here is this Pocahontas. It's a vintage Pocahontas blanket. I tried looking up comps. I've gotten some crap from people on YouTube commenting, telling me not to be scared of looking up comps at yard sales. 
I literally got two two comments yesterday, people telling me, don't be scared. <laughs> so I took your advice and I just looked up the comps there at the yard sale. And I couldn't find this blanket, but all the other Pocahontas blankets were like selling for like 40 bucks or something. And this was only a dollar. So I grabbed it. But um, I will go ahead and throw it in the pile of stuff that needs to be cleaned and washed. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like now. And I'm gonna try to organize it a little bit better. Um, my garage isn't at par right now. Um, we moved into this house like two months ago and we're still not fully unpacked and organized, especially in this garage. Um, but this is kind of just to give you guys a quick, that's where I dye my hair. <laughs> But this is like a quick overview of what my workspace looks like. And I do keep all of my inventory like in these shelfings and um, in some of these like little bins that pull out. Um, so everything's working out really, really good. I, I do everything in here now. I list in here. I, uh, I take pictures in here. I ship from here. And I keep everything separate. So my business is literally not in my home anymore, which I am so freaking happy about. And I did get a lot of orders in the last 24 hours. That is like, I normally don't get that much. So I'm pretty excited about that. But when I do have everything organized in better looking conditions, I'll go ahead and post a video and show it to you how it, how it looks. And I'm going to go ahead and organize this a little bit better and I will show you how it looks afterwards. All right. So I just kind of organized things a little bit better so that it looks so sloppy. So I don't work during the weekends besides sourcing, um, but I do all my listing and everything um, during the week. Um, so once Monday comes along, like I'll probably end up just throwing all this stuff in the wash and then um, and then I'll just start digging at everything. And the goal will be to get all this stuff listed before next Friday when I go out to the yard sales again. So that's typically the schedule that I try to keep to. Um, so wish me luck that I can get everything listed. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, everybody. Um, don't forget to like this video and I'll see you next time. But never forget, when you thrift upon a star, all your dreams will come true. Bye.